Baron moved into WH yesterday and everyone immediately noticed blunt message to haters on his shirt. The much-anticipated reunion of the Trump family finally happened yesterday, when after six months of living apart, Baron and got to be back living with his dad. It's been a challenging start to the presidency for this family because of the onslaught of attack the 11-year-old first son has endured from adults on the left. On the day that his and hate mother's detractors said would never actually happen, the Trump's clever son wore a shirt with a blunt message on it proving one thing is for certain and liberals responded accordingly. Melania decided to live in New York for the first six months of her husband's presidency because it was the best decision for their young son who was 10 at the time his dad took office. Barron was in the middle of his school year and to uproot him to Washington, D.C. away from friends and familiarity and into a completely different role as first son of the most controversial president in history, wasn't wise for his well-being. It wasn't kids in a new school that were the biggest challenge this child would face, it was adults on the left and liberals in Hollywood who made relentlessly attacking Barron their new career path. With a new move in view of Barron, liberals received fresh material to attack this kid on who beat them at their own game. The first son is a smart boy who speaks multiple languages and is the youngest in a very successful crew of siblings, is probably wise beyond his years. Knowing he was going to be photographed on moving day, he used his shirt to send a message and rile up his detractors. It seems to have worked, according to the political insider. Melania and Baron Trump have moved into the White House, and everybody looks thrilled, the liberal rag, Jezebel, commented on Twitter in reaction to the family's facial expressions caught as they stepped off the helicopter. These three can't be expected to smile 24-7, which they would be criticized for being fake for anyway. A split second of them stepping onto the lawn with their belongings and not beaming doesn't mean they aren't thrilled and appreciative about moving into the White House. Liberals aren't the expert on this, as Barron's shirt possibly suggests. Wearing a shirt that said the expert in bold letters across his chest, Baron stepped off Marine One with his mom and dad. As he casually walked across the lawn to his incredible new home, he looked relaxed and definitely not worried about what all his haters would soon be saying. Despite walking into the White House, he proved to be just like other kids in this country as he played with a fidget spinner. This only gave his detractors more to say about him for a ridiculous reason. Referring to the whimsical statement made on his shirt, which could have meant anything or nothing at all, Another negative Twitter user remarked, really hope Don Jr. S. says the second favorite and Eric says the other one, as if to say the president only cares about his youngest son with his latest wife. It was pretty genius of this kid to wear a statement shirt with a message that could be left up to interpretation and rile up his haters who immediately took the bait but also attacked him for playing with the wildly popular fidget spinner toy, like practically every other kid in America. Say Jim Spillman, OMG. Baron Trump has a fidget spinner just like every single boy in my daughter's class. The only thing that liberals are the expert is is making something out of nothing and Baron proved that by just being himself. He wore a shirt he likes that happened to make a statement, regardless of what would inevitably be said about him in return. He's the expert in his own role and had every right to wear the sentiment that could have been mocking his detractors who think they are the expert on everything he does. It's ironic that when Malia Obama wore a statement t-shirt about her drug use she was caught in, the left tried to shut the commentary down by shouting kids are off limits and leave them alone, despite her deliberately calling attention to her own actions. Not long after the former first daughter had been caught smoking marijuana at a concert, she was spotted in a top that said smoking kills. If the worst Baron can do is make a blunt statement that he's the expert, we think he's doing better than the those breaking their own rules to leave the kids alone because he just outsmarted them. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe and comment because your voice matters and visit our page on Facebook and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.